Nazi General Anton Dossler before his execution. 1945 Anton Dossler the 10th of May 1891 to 1 December 1945 was a German army officer who fought in both world wars during World War II. He commanded several units as a general of the infantry, primarily in Italy, after the Axis defeat. Dossler was executed for war crimes specifically, ordering the execution of 15 American prisoners of war in March 1944 during the Italian campaign. Dossler was tried during the first Allied war crimes trials to be held after the end of the war in Europe. At Nuremberg, he mounted a defense on the grounds that he had ordered the executions only because he himself was obeying superior orders, and that as such only his superiors could be held responsible. The Nuremberg judges rejected Dossler's defense, ruling in an important precedent later codified in principle for of the Nuremberg principles and the 1948 Universal Declaration of Human Rights, that citing superior orders did not relieve soldiers or officers of responsibility for carrying out war crimes, one after being found guilty. Dossler was sentenced to death and executed by a United States Army firing squad. Dossler joined the German Army in 1910 and served as a junior officer during World War I from the start of World War II to 1940. He served as Chief of Staff of the 7th Army. Subsequently, he commanded the 57th Infantry Division 1941-42, the 163rd Infantry Division 1940 to end, after some temporary stand-ins at Corps, was appointed Commander of 75th Army Corps Jan July 1944 in Italy and then Commander of the Venetian Coast. Sept November 1944, when its name was reassigned to 73rd Army Corps, where he finished the war. Why a firing squad consists of multiple shooters. Many people taking part in firing squads intentionally miss their target, as they do not want to be the one responsible for the individual's death. Very often, they would even aim for non-vital areas of the body for the same reasons, knowing that... The person was going to die regardless, and didn't want the kill shot on their conscience. Another reason is that a lot of soldiers feel that it is immoral to execute a defenseless or captured prisoner. Despite any crimes the person has committed, this is why there are so many people used in a firing squad to ensure a quick death. Since 15 U.S. soldiers were properly dressed in U.S. uniforms behind enemy lines and not Disguised in civilian clothes or enemy uniforms, they were not to be treated as spies but prisoners of war, which Dossler violated. This order was an implementation of Hitler's secret commando order of 1942, which required immediate execution without trial of commandos and saboteurs German officers at the 135th Fortress Brigade contacted Dossler in an attempt to achieve a delay of their execution. Dossler sent another telegram ordering Amherst to carry out the execution. Two last attempts were made by the officers at the 135th to stop the execution, including some by telephone because they knew that executing uniformed prisoners of war was a direct violation of the 1929 Geneva Convention on Prisoners of War. These efforts were unsuccessful, and the 15 Americans were executed on the morning of March 26, 1944, at Punta Bianca south of La Spezia, in the municipality of Ameglia. Their bodies were buried in a mass grave that was then camouflaged. The general was convicted and sentenced to death by the American military tribunal. He was executed by a 12-man firing squad on December 1, 1945, in Aversa.